Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, July 9th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 709, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. In today's episode, Gen Z gets its opening Douban rating. So does Destined. Both scores are probably lower than fans expected. Xiao Zhan talks about his character in The Longest Promise, while the director calls him the only Shiying in his heart. And Bai Lu gets mocked for her English pronunciation. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. But first, here's what's recently premiered, two dramas for today and the past few days. There's Only Love You, a costume drama starring Peng Chuyue and Zhao Qing. It premiered on July 7th. According to Baidu, in the drama, Zhao Qing is a character from the Fox Clan. She sneaks into the palace to avenge those who harmed her clan. But while there, she meets Peng Chuyue, a cold-faced general whom she fell in love with years ago but became separated because of misunderstandings. Only Love You is slated for 24 episodes and is available on YouTube. At the moment, there are English subs, but they're not great. Then there's The Lost 11th Floor, a crime suspense drama starring Pan Yueming and Cheng Shu. It premiered earlier today. This is the poster they shared a couple of days ago to announce 1 million reservations on iQiyi. According to iQiyi, the drama follows Pan Yueming, deputy director of the Public Security Bureau, as he uncovers the truth about a mining disaster that occurred years ago. Cheng Shu plays the newly appointed director who is shocked by the new findings. The Lost 11th Floor is slated for 24 episodes and is available on iQiyi with English subs. That's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, opening Topan ratings. I have two to update on. Both came out yesterday. Gen Z, the modern drama starring Wu Kang and Zhao Lusi, opened with an average score of 3.9 from around 60,000 ratings. Took this screenshot a couple of days ago, and the top comment on Topan gave it 5 stars and praised the writing, saying the drama does not avoid the contradiction between Chinese and Western medicine. The next three were on the other end of the spectrum, giving it just one star, calling the drama exaggerated, and calling for it to respect Chinese medicine practitioners who have worked so hard to get a degree. Then there was also some middle ground, with this commenter giving it three stars. The other opening Topan rating is for Destined. The costume drama starring Bai Jingting and Sung Yi opened with a 6.8, also from around 60,000 ratings. Here are some comments I came across about the score. This netizen remarked that the script adaptation was poor, the production level was not outstanding, and that audiences tuned in just to see Bai Jingting and Song Yi. This netizen broke it down and gave the acting a 9, directing a 6, writing a 1, and publicity a negative 1. They said that when you take the average of that, the Topan score is reasonable. Then they added they gave Bai Jingting a 10. Others kept it simpler and said, flip it around for 8.6, I think that's more like it. This one said, 6.8 is a bit low, for me it's at least 7.5. As always, I ask those who followed the drama, what do you think about their opening Topan scores? Too high, too low, or just about right? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates, and today we begin with Xiao Chan. Xiao Chan stars as Shi Ying, a banished prince, in the recently aired costume drama The Longest Promise. According to Baidu, The Longest Promise had four directors on board. Its chief one was Jiang Jiajun. In a recent behind-the-scenes video, Jiang Jiajun spoke about Xiao Chan, calling the 31-year-old actor the only Shi Ying in his heart. Xiao Chan is a very soulful actor, Jiang Jiajun said. Whether it's a battle scene or crying scene, I feel he is more of a thoughtful and creative type of actor. Jiang Jiajun also revealed that it took about two years of prep work before they started filming the drama. The crew built many live-action studios, covering an area of almost 30,000 square meters. In the behind-the-scenes video, Xiao Chan divulged that it was his first time using an umbrella as a weapon in a drama, and that it was quite heavy, about 7.5 kilograms. 
Separately, in a different interview, Xiao Zhan shared some thoughts about playing his character. What were your feelings when you came to understand your character, he was asked. He replied, at the time, my feeling was to absolutely not play this character like he has facial paralysis. Actually, I'm really scared of portraying this type of cool and aloof character. The majority of them lack expressions, lack sentiments. So the things you're trying to convey in front of the camera can make audiences feel like the character is just expressionless. We just need to find out why this person chooses to be so cool and aloof. What is the root cause? For me, it was why did Shi Ying choose to live in seclusion in the Jiu Yi Mountains? Everything has a reason. It's not just the script says I'm aloof, so I'm aloof. Xiao Zhan then gets into Shi Ying's background and the root cause of Shi Ying's relationship with females, which I won't get into here because it's quite long. You'll just have to watch the drama to find out. Which, by the way, is now available on Netflix. Its synopsis there reads, Bound by destiny, a banished prince becomes a teacher to a strong-minded princess, until fate makes them enemies amidst dangerous power struggles. Lastly, for celebrity updates, Bai Lu is mocked, rather harshly, for her English pronunciation at a brand event. At a recent Chopin event in Shanghai, brand ambassador Bai Lu was tasked with speaking to the crowd about the Swiss luxury brand. The 28-year-old actress looked fantastic, but had trouble remembering the name of one of the jewelry series. Um, happy diamonds. Well, happy, uh, happy, happy diamonds. Happy diamonds. Happy diamonds. Happy diamonds. When it eventually came to her, she said it out. Happy diamonds. 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 Happy Netizens mocked her for first forgetting the jewelry series, and then for mispronouncing diamonds and heart. According to media outlet 8 Days, which covered the story, many netizens harshly labeled her uncultured and illiterate. It's too easy for these people to earn money. They don't qualify as good role models, yet they still have so many fans, wrote one netizen. But there were others who defended her, saying that though there were small mishaps, she did well holding a discussion on the brand. Still, there were others who brought up how Bailu majored in business and English, and even appears on her alma mater's list of honorary alums. They found it strange that she could not pronounce basic words such as hearts and happy, adding that she has sullied the brand. I'm sure some of those commenters were just haters who would jump at any opportunity to sound mean. But as for those who genuinely thought Bailu could have done better, what do you guys think about the criticism? Too harsh, or is there some truth to it? On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 180, July 9th, 2023. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, Beauty of Resilience. The costume drama stars Xu Jingyi and Fiction Guo. Number 9, Divine Destiny. The costume drama stars Angela Baby and Ma Tianyu. Number 8, Exploration Method of Love. The modern drama stars Kido Gao and Sung Yanfei. Number 7, When I Fly Towards You, the modern drama stars Zhou Yiran and Zhang Miaoyi. Number 6, Twilight, the modern drama stars Ellen Ren and Angela Baby. Number 5, Snow Eagle Lord, the costume drama stars Xu Kai and Guli Naja. Number 4, Stand or Fall, the modern drama stars Qing Lan and Wang Yang. Number 3, Destined, the costume drama stars Bai Jingting and Sung Yi. Number 2, Hidden Love, the modern drama stars Xiao Lu Si and Chen Zhiyuan. And number one, The Longest Promise, the costume drama stars Xiao Chan and Ren Ming. The Longest Promise is championed for the first time since its premiere. It garnered 615 points. As I mentioned before, anything over 600 is a great week for the drama. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Grace of Reconstruction, the Republican era drama stars Wan Tong and Wan Siwei. Number 9, The Knockout, the modern drama stars Zhang Yi and Zhang Sungwen. 
Number 8, The Outsider, the modern drama stars Kitty Zhang and Feng Gao. Number 7, A Date with the Future, the modern drama stars William Chen and Zhang Ronan. Number 6, Fireworks of My Heart, the modern drama stars Yang Yang and Wang Churan. Number 5, In Later Years, the modern drama stars Hao Lei and Angel Wang. Number 4, Prosecution Elite, the modern drama stars Del Raba and Tong Da Wei. Number 3, Ray of Light, the modern drama stars Guo Jingfei, Ren Ming, and Roy Wang. Number 2, Sisterhood, the Republican era drama stars Xiao Yan and Tai Xiangyu. And number 1, The Youth Memories, the retro drama stars Xiao Chan and Li Qing. The Youth Memories ends the week with 412 points, making it champion for a fifth week running. And this is the first time in 180 weeks of keeping track of the charts that both the top web and TV dramas star the same actor. Also, I just want to mention that Fireworks of My Heart was number one every day on the TV drama chart since it premiered this week, but because it premiered on Wednesday, did not garner enough points to make it to the top. Next week, it should be one of the favorites. And there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.